What is up Pinky Boy here and I have another scum tutorial for you. Today we will be looking into weapon handling. So you probably know how to make your guns go pew pew and reload, but there is so much more you can do with your guns to help in your fight for survival on the island. And how to do these maneuvers isn't really explained to you in game. And this is where I come in. We will also be looking at other mechanics relevant to weapon handling, such as skills, injuries, and just about anything I thought could be useful as far as gunplay goes. Before we start, if you find these videos entertaining and useful, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like this video, comment below, share this tutorial, and look in the pinned comment for a link to my Discord. Also, if you are looking to get your hands on a scum game key, watch this video until the end. So let's start with some useful keybinds, then we will go through weapon handling information. So left mouse goes bang, right mouse to aim or focus, control to steady your aim, or to reload, and middle mouse to weapon bash. Those are your basic keybinds, but there are much more options available to you. You can hold control and mouse scroll up or down to adjust your crouch height, When using a proper scope, you can tap control to calculate the ranged target. Hold shift and mouse scroll up or down to adjust the zero distance on your scope. Hold shift and alt then mouse scroll up or down to adjust the windage on your scope. Hold control and right mouse click when aiming down sights to switch between your scope and iron sights. Hold alt and left or right click to switch between zoom levels. Hold alt and mouse scroll up or down to adjust your scope's vertical brightness. Hold shift and press R to check how many bullets you have left. Hold shift and left mouse click to change weapon firing mode. Hold shift and hold the right mouse button to check the weapon's current firing mode. And that should cover everything you might need as far as keybinds go. Now, if you want to have the chance to get your hands on a scum game key, subscribe to my channel. This week I will have a video out with all the information for a scum game key giveaway I will be doing for which the winners will be drawn on the last day of December and will be announced on the 1st of January 2021. All you have to do right now is subscribe to my channel and set your notifications on so you don't miss that video. Now let's talk about things that will affect your weapon handling. The first being skills. Weapon group skills such as rifles and handguns will affect things like your reload time, single round chambering speed, aimed out sight speed, weapon sway while aiming down sights, recoil and stamina drain while steadying your aim. The endurance skill will give you a larger stamina pool, meaning you can steady your aim longer. Stealth reduces the noise you make and makes it harder for AI to spot you. Awareness helps with spotting enemies at a distance, spotting camouflage players, and increases the effects of focusing, which tunes down ambient sounds and increases noises and gunshots. It also makes figuring the direction of sounds easier. Sniping has everything to do with using scopes, it makes range finding faster and more accurate. Then we have injuries. Certain injuries will affect your weapon handling. You could suffer from longer reload time and more recoil if your hand is injured for example. Treat your wounds and don't get into a firefight if you can avoid it while you are injured. Then we have weapon malfunctions. Most weapons can suffer from jams, and jams are caused by either weapon condition, ammo condition, or magazine condition. So keep your gear clean. And you can clean your weapon by using a weapon cleaning kit, of course. Once you have a malfunction, a radial menu will appear with possible jams. That menu will differ depending on the weapon type. You need to click the right jam to initiate the jam clearing animation. A bad round is due to ammo condition, a double feed will be due to weapon condition, a round not loaded is due to magazine condition, 
a stovepipe is due to weapon condition, a stuck bullet is due to ammo condition, a clip jam is due to an M1 clip condition. Bolt action rifles won't suffer from malfunctions, but low weapon condition will cause you to have problems and delays while shooting, loading, or reloading. Then we have ammo type. Tracer rounds will allow you to see where you are shooting or to see where someone is shooting from. Armor piercing rounds will deal 50% more damage to body armor. Crafted ammunition will deal 10% less damage. Birdshot will have a bunch of small low power pellets. Buckshot will have 9 medium pellets. Slugs will have 1 big pellet. You can load combinations of cartridges in shotgun magazines or tubes. Now let's talk about bayonets. You can mount bayonets on certain rifles. Click the metal mouse button to use the bayonet. You can still use a weapon bash by holding shift and then clicking middle mouse button. When driving a car, you can shoot with your handgun. Now you won't be so helpless when running away from PvP thirsty squads. And finally, a few words on grenades. Hold G to long throw. Shift G to short throw. Hold the throw button to cook your grenades. Put a grenade in your quick slots and click the white hand to make it ready to throw for when you press G. And that is what I had for you guys regarding weapon handling. I hope it will be useful. If you have anything useful to add, please do so in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please take the time to subscribe, like this video, comment below and share. Also do not forget to look in the pinned comment for a link to my Discord. Again. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I will see you in the next one.